I got this nasty broken old uh, radio tape CD player thingy uh, as an air cannon target. I've set up the fire extinguisher tank and solenoid valve air cannon on the pedestal mount with the 72 inch long caliber 410 barrel. Ammunition will be AAA batteries if I cut the thin label off the AAA battery it then fits my uh, caliber 410 aluminum barrel perfectly. This radio can be plugged in and turned on. It is plugged in, but unfortunately due to the complexity of modern audio copyright laws, both domestically and internationally, I can't risk having any audio from this radio uh, be recorded in my video. So I'm going to have to shoot this radio plugged in, but with the volume turned down. So let's get the air cannon set up and put a AAA battery into a plugged in radio whose volume sadly will have to be at zero due to complex copyright issues. Don't want to take a risk with big money lawyers, so I'll shoot the radio silent. A AAA battery has had its label removed and now is loaded into the breech. The two other batteries sitting on top are just there as examples of uh, what I'm shooting at the radio. It's probably only going to take one shot to blow that little plastic radio apart, so I shouldn't be needing these two batteries at all. I've moved the camera 10 meters downrange, nearer the target. Uh, the target will of course be the radio and not the speaker sitting to its right. Everything's set up. The air cannon is nearly to pressure. I'll fire it to 350 to 400 psi for this shot. Let's head back up range to the cannon and fire a AAA battery into this radio, which is running, but has its volume turned right down for copyright law reasons. It looks like that AAA battery hit right on the volume knob. Let's try another AAA battery, then I might switch to lead slugs. Looks like I hit in the same spot, unfortunately, but just a touch lower. So I'll switch to lead slugs and try some more. Here goes a shot with the lead slug. Hopefully I can even hit it. Well, that did pop the tape compartment open.
Let's try another lead slug. I wish I could hit a bit more to the left, more cinder. I'll try. That at least knocked it down. As you can see, the power lead on this thing is still lit up, despite several shots hitting it here and there. Let's give it another lead slug. Time to fire again. Unbelievably, the power lead is still lit. Let's go shoot again. That finally killed the power. The power lead is finally off on this radio. This little radio is a bit tougher than I expected. It's lasting. That clearly was a solid hit. Yeah, let's keep going. Another nice solid hit. This time I've laid the remains of the radio on its back and I'll try shooting through the top. Seems like a good solid hit again. This time I've loaded two slugs, one behind the other, into the air cannon barrel. Let's see if I can even hit it. Something certainly hit it.
Those AAA batteries and cast lead slugs certainly expelled a lot of bits and pieces out of the radio. Well, thanks for watching, and it's time for me to find something else to shoot.